You're about to enter golfing country, your passport to the world's best golfing destinations. Hosted by Mark Stewart and Rebecca Blackwell. Golf is our specialty and travel is our business. Let's get ready to tee it up on golfing country. That's right. Hello, I'm Mark Stewart from Golfing Country, and do we have a show for you this week. This week we're going to the land of enchantment, New Mexico. Our first stop is Albuquerque, and we're going to stop at the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center. And is it something you should do? Yes, it is. Everyone should stop there and get an idea of the culture that they have in New Mexico, and there's no better place to do it. This should be your starting point. My name is Greg Anaya, and I represent two of the 19 Pueblos that are found here in the state of New Mexico. On behalf of the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center, we want to welcome you to come and visit our facility. And it was built as a gateway to those of you that are not really familiar with the Pueblo culture. The Pueblo culture here in the state of New Mexico as well uh, as the rest of the world is very unique. That really stems from our languages. As you get here into New Mexico, you'll start to really experience this part of the, the, the native culture that we're really proud of. The cuisine is something very unique as well as the symbolisms and uh, the different aspects of our religion and lifestyle. So we welcome you to come here to uh, the state of New Mexico and be a part of this and really experience this, this, this uh, culture that we call Pueblo culture. One of the favorite golf courses here in the land of enchantment is designed by Scott Miller and it's called Sandia. Let's take a look. Today we're at the award-winning Scott Miller designed Sandia Golf Course which surrounds one of New Mexico's most popular hotel casino resorts. Let's find out why this is such a great place to play golf. Hello, my name is Matt Malloy and I'm the director of golf here at Sandia Golf Club. Behind me is Sandia Resort and Casino. The golf course designed by Scott Miller opened in June of 2005. It's the longest golf course in New Mexico. It's almost 7,800 yards. A very playable golf course. We have had a great five years. Actually, our five-year anniversary was just a, a few days ago on June 11th. The golf course is a fun golf course to, to play. It's a, a departure from a lot of the golf courses built in the early 2000s where they were very, very difficult, very penal, where we have very wide fairways, generous landing areas. Scott did hide a lot of the, some of the parts of the fairways behind bunkers, but the more you play it, the more you get to know it, the more you know where to hit it. Greens are the hardest part of the course, very undulating at a nice speed to make them nice and challenging, and firm. The golf course is firm, it's not real, real wet, so it will play a little shorter than the yardage says it is. People really like it because they can shoot their best scores here, and I think that's part of our success. The front nine wraps around the, the resort and casino. And then the back nine works its way up towards Sandia Mountains. is probably as close as you're going to get without trespassing on tribal lands. So some great views out there on 16T and even 17T. You're, you're really far up there against the mountain. Charity tournaments where people aren't playing a, playing a lot every year, they, uh, they come out and they have a good time. It's a fun golf course again, not real difficult. We love to have tournaments out here. The clubhouse has a, an outdoor patio, covered patio, so you can enjoy a pre-lunch or a post-lunch, post-round lunch out there. We serve some nice nice sandwiches and, and grilled favorites along with some New Mexico favorites, homemade green chili and, and red chili. So a real nice spot. We get a lot of people who aren't even golfers that come out and enjoy the view and, and the sounds of the waterfall behind us. It's a complete resort and casino. They have 228 rooms. They have restaurants uh, on, the, on the very top of the building you see behind us. Beautiful views from that restaurant. They have a spa, there's an amphitheater, so a great place to come and visit, a destination style resort where you can come see a concert, have spa treatments, play some golf, uh, some dinner, gamble a little bit, really complete resort. We'd like to invite you out to the resort and casino, play the golf course and, and enjoy all the, all the amenities. Again, my name is Matt Malloy and uh, we'd like to invite you out. Thank you. Sandia Golf Course, an excellent golfing experience in New Mexico's land of enchantment. We'll be right back with more golf from the Land of Enchantment. What could be easier than to just get off the freeway, make a few turns, and arrive at a genuinely multicultural hotel, Hotel Albuquerque? 
located in historic downtown Albuquerque. We found the ideal hotel for a visit to Albuquerque. It's easy to remember its name because it's called Hotel Albuquerque. There are so many things to like about this hotel. First, its location in historic old downtown. Great food and dining venues. And beautiful decor. Hotel Albuquerque is your best starting point for exploring Albuquerque. Welcome to Albuquerque and Hotel Albuquerque at Old Town. My name is Ed Pulsifer and I'm Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Heritage Hotels and Resorts. From the moment you walk into the lobby, or as we call our Grand Sala, you get an immediate sense of place. You know you're in New Mexico. From the decor, the Native American, the Spanish, the Western, Mexican, it's a true representation of our history and culture and Albuquerque's lifestyle. Cafe Plaza well is our casual dining restaurant that features authentic New Mexican cuisine in a very authentic, festive New Mexican environment. Cristobal's Fine Dining Restaurant, one of the most intimate fine dining restaurants in the entire city, located right in Hotel Albuquerque. Hotel Albuquerque features beautiful Spanish gardens and a magnificent outdoor pool area, creating a resort atmosphere right in the heart of the city. The chapel at Hotel Albuquerque represents 300 years of our history and culture and can be used for private wedding ceremonies and other private events. The chapel also features a magnificent bridal room for the bride and her party to get ready in an incredible atmosphere. Q-Bar represents Albuquerque in the future. It's chic, hip, cool, sexy, and a lot of fun. The guest rooms at Hotel Albuquerque offer a simple elegance, but with all of the modern amenities you'd expect at a high-end luxury property. Hotel Albuquerque at Old Town offers over 41,000 square feet of indoor and outdoor convention, meeting, and banquet space. Old Town is located directly outside of Hotel Albuquerque. Old Town was established in 1706 and has approximately 300 shops, restaurants, galleries, the Albuquerque Aquarium, and Botanical Gardens. If you truly want to experience the history and culture of Albuquerque and the land of enchantment, Hotel Albuquerque is the perfect venue. Stay with us for a while, and we'll stay with you for a lifetime. You can view all of the wonderful amenities this property has to offer at HotelABQ.com. If you've never been to Albuquerque, there's something that you have to do before you do anything else. There's something new to Albuquerque that's a big hit. It's the Albuquerque Trolley, about a 1 hour and 15 minute tour that starts very conveniently near the Hotel Albuquerque in Old Downtown. Mark and I took the tour on the trolley, and we learned to our surprise that Albuquerque is now the number one place for TV and movie production. Hollywood loves shooting in Albuquerque. For instance, here's a house that appeared on AMC's Breaking Bad show. And here's a house that was used in Wild Hogs with John Travolta. The old rail yard glass building is also a favorite for shooting movies. And here's a police car. It says Palm Springs, not Albuquerque, because it was seen on the new show Scoundrels. You'll follow a large part of Route 66 on your trolley tour. Look at some of these old 66 signs. And here we're passing the only place in America where Route 66 crosses Route 66. This tour points out popular restaurants, great souvenir shops, and historic old buildings all along Route 66. You'll get a well-rounded look at what to do in Albuquerque by taking the trolley first. Wouldn't it be a wonderful view if you could look down from these mountains? Well, you can. Sandia Peak Ski and Tramway. It's a trip on the world's longest aerial tramway, and it's just a mile and a half from Sandia Golf Course. It took over two years to build and opened in 1966, and now it's one of the most popular tourist attractions in central New Mexico. On the way up, you have an opportunity to see eagles, bears, deer, and elk. And once at the top, you get a spectacular view of 11,000 square miles of the land of enchantment. Summertime brings 26 miles of hiking and biking trails along the peak. They have a restaurant, a tavern, and ranger programs that are for every age and ability. Three of my favorite views from the top are Albuquerque, 
Sandia Resort, and another one of New Mexico's top golf courses, Paco Ridge. As we head back on the 2.7 miles of tram, some of nature's more dramatic beauty unfolds before our eyes. Anyone coming to central New Mexico must put Sandia Peak Ski and Tramway on their list of things to see and do. There's much more on golfing country. We'll be right back. You know, they shoot a lot of movies and television shows in the Albuquerque area. And there's a lot of golfers in that group. And there's one place special that they like to go. It's called Paco Ridge. Let's take a look. From the top of Sandia Peak, you see a golf course. But you really can't tell what kind of a golf course it is until you're here. Once here, you find the crown jewel of the Turquoise Golf Trail and the highest rated course in New Mexico by Golf Digest. Welcome to Paco Ridge. Hi, my name is Rob Murray. I'm the general manager of Paco Ridge Golf Club in Paco Communities. We're located in Sandia Park, New Mexico. It's privately owned by Roger Cox, Bob Sparling, and Pat Wiley. It was designed by Ken Dye. Opened in 2000 as the number one new course in the country. We added nine holes in 2005. We're open from March 1st to December 1st. It's up at 7,000 feet. We're in the mountains and the pine trees. It's typically six to 10 degrees cooler than Albuquerque. It's real nice in the summer, cool mornings, beautiful evenings, and it's a challenging golf course. It's strictly daily fee golf course. We're open to the public. Get a lot of senior play. Our juniors, we have a great junior program. They play free with an adult. So it's open to, to all walks of life. We get people from everywhere here. But, you know, it's really for the good player, yeah. They, the good players love it. It's a very challenging golf course. We have five sets of tees, so there's a tee box for everybody. Good players, this is their home. We have an annual pass. That is a good price. We've always had a three-for-two card, so every third round you play during the week is free, seven days a week. Paco Ridge is, is within Paco Communities. It's an award-winning development by Roger Cox. Now he's got the Casitas. He's got some beautiful new golf course lots. There's a few of those left. Some other one-acre lots are left, so beautiful place for a home. It's only 20 minutes from Albuquerque. We get a lot of interested home buyers here. Behind me is the ski area. In March, you can ski and tee here. You can play in the same day as you ski. <laughs> The turquoise trail goes to Santa Fe. It's a national scenic byway, about 45 minutes to Santa Fe. Gorgeous drive, beautiful. Our grill is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Beautiful patio, great patio dining. The community here, we get residents that come in for dinner. It's a great place to have dinner. This site was inhabited long before we got here by the Anasazi Indians. So a lot of the artwork reflects that. Pueblo style architecture, it's beautiful. So we can get you package deals. Um, you go to our website, www.pacoridge.com, and there's information on there about package deals. Paco Ridge is the most highly acclaimed golf course to open in New Mexico. We're one of a handful of courses that are five-star rated by Golf Digest, the only one in the Southwest. 20,000 readers of Golf World magazine ranked us as high as the third best public facility in the country. So we welcome everybody from all walks to come and see us. Enjoy the community. Look at our casitas. Play 27 holes of beautiful golf and dine on our patio with a cocktail. Had a great time out here. Skiers know about it, golfers know about it, and people buying homes know about it. It's 22 miles approximately from Taos, and it's called Angel Fire Resort. Angel Fire Resort, only 22 miles from Taos, enjoys all the year-round activities, skiing, golfing, and biking. The big news at Angel Fire is the opening of its exceptionally beautiful Alpine-inspired country club clubhouse, which is open to the public, but also offers membership with state-of-the-art golfing amenities. On a tour of the new clubhouse, we will find the Grand Hall perfect large area for banquets, weddings, and all kinds of events. Here you will experience the Stonewood Restaurant with its fine dining four nights out of the week and for Sunday brunch. Notice its beautiful long outside deck right along the Grand Hall with extraordinary panoramic views. Just off the Grand Hall there are two private dining rooms which are regally decorated. 
and there's also a wine room and a library room. Angel Fire Resort went all out to build a clubhouse for all occasions and all events. Elements Bar, named appropriately, featuring rock, wood, and stone elements, is already thrilling members and visitors with musical entertainment, appetizer menu, and an extensive wine list, plus unparalleled views to Wheeler Peak. All that you would want in a country club is right here at this new clubhouse. It has locker rooms, a beautiful indoor swimming pool, and an outstanding fitness center with new cardio and weight equipment. Its pro shop offers a great selection of men's and women's golf attire, golf car rental, range balls, and all your needs. The golf course itself is only steps away from the clubhouse. It has a longer playing layout on the front nine, winding through unspoiled canyons of spruce and aspen. Its signature hole, number six, has a tee box that's 200 vertical feet above the green and 250 yards away. Here's a great value. Premier Resort memberships offer access to skiing, golf, tennis, fishing, boating, and social events. Don't be surprised that on your visit to Angel Fire Resort, you'll think about buying a property and you'll have the magnificent new clubhouse right next door. There's much more on golfing country. We'll be right back. Taos Country Club has brought great golf to northern New Mexico. With a course over 7,300 yards long, it provides panoramic views, great golf, and it's a hub for community events. I caught up with Carvel Borg on one of their dramatic par threes. He's part of a father and son team that are making a difference in golf and the community. Welcome to House Country Club. We're standing out here on number 11, one of the signature holes, about 150 yards over the pond. We're 18 hole, uh, championship style golf course, a Lynx style in northern New Mexico, located with the Taos Mountains in the backdrop there. We've got a uh, beautiful clubhouse, semi-private. We are open to the public. We offer memberships both catering to singles and family. If you need some golf lessons, I'm the assistant pro here and we've also got head pro and general manager, Tad Borg. I'm Tad Borg. I'm the head professional at the Taos Country Club and my son is my assistant and helps me run everything and I appreciate that along with everybody else that's here maintenance crew. It's a great golf course, great facility. We opened in 1993. Carville, my son, had mentioned it's a kind of a traditional link style course if you played in Ireland or Scotland. Jeff Woolley is the architect who did a wonderful job with the land that we had. We're standing here with the only water hole on the golf course. It's reclaimed water, which uh, we're kind of an environmental sensitive uh, golf course from recycling to the recycled water. We also offer a wonderful food and beverage department. We cater to weddings, parties, graduations, basically any type of fun that anyone wants to have. We're open daily for breakfast and lunch over there. We'd love to have anybody come out here to northern New Mexico. It's cool summers, 80, 85 degrees in the summertime, 50 degrees at night. It's a wonderful atmosphere and as my son said, wonderful skiing in the winter. You can go to our website at TowsCountryClub.com and it'll give you a rundown of everything that we offer here at the Taos Country Club as well as upcoming events. It's pretty easy to navigate. You can get the information I think that, that you will want and if that doesn't take care of it, just give us a call over here and we're glad to help you. You can ask for myself or my son Carville. Hi, my name is Jillian Smothers and I'm the Director of Food and Beverage here at Taos Country Club. Here at Taos Country Club, we can take care of all of your culinary needs, from lunch on the patio, breakfast daily, to a full-service wedding with these spectacular views of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains behind us. From a small, intimate gathering to groups of over 200, we can take care of all of your needs. Make sure when you come to Taos, you head out here to the Taos Country Club. We guarantee you'll have a great time on our golf course uh, with our food and beverage and in our community with everything that we do have to offer here.
may miss this spot, but we're going to tell you about it. Just uh, three miles away from the uh, Taos Country Club golf course, you're here at the uh, Rio Grande Gorge. And what a beautiful site this is, only three miles away. New Mexico, the land of enchantment, is rich in Native American culture, home to 22 American Indian tribes, including the Santa Clara Pueblo. Featured on our show today is the Santa Clara Hotel and Casino, which was built on the ancestral lands of the Santa Clara Pueblo tribe. The hotel's mission is to extend warmth, friendship, and hospitality. It's a newly built marvel of craftsmanship with 129 rooms and 18 suites. Its rooms are simple but elegant in style, spacious, and they convey a sense of spirit of the Pueblo, from the paintings, the carvings, and the wood-paneled walls. The lobby is colorful and welcoming, displaying a gorgeous hand-woven rug. It has steps leading to a lounge with a Kiva fireplace and Starbucks coffee. So many artifacts are on exhibit. For instance, the wall sconces. They've all been made by local artisans. It's high wood beam ceilings. Recognizable Santa Clara pottery. Famous for its polished black on black and perfectly executed redware designs. Its Black Mesa Steakhouse serves delicious prime ribs, seafood, and decadent desserts. The Santa Clara Cafe offers comfortable booth seating and comfort food to go with it. Its casino is connected to the hotel for easy access. You'll have 750 real and video slots to choose from. Or you can go to the gaming tables for popular blackjack, craps, or roulette. The hotel has 16,000 square feet of event space and wonderful service to go with it. And while you hold your corporate or personal event, you can look out to the most compelling mountain and valley view, panoramic. Its award-winning Black Mesa Golf Course is one of our golf segments. Next up, you'll love the location of this hotel. It's central to northern New Mexico, a great hub for all the area's sights and golfing. <laughs> There's much more on golfing country. We'll be right back. You know, one of my favorite courses to play in New Mexico, I've played it a couple times, is Black Mesa. I just love the course, and I love everyone there. Take a look at this course. The morning brings us an unexpected pleasure, golfing at Black Mesa. Now, I've heard of this course before, but I really didn't know that much about it. After playing the course, and seeing the pride that everyone takes here at Black Mesa, I can guarantee you will have a unique golfing experience. The land of enchantment is the perfect place for Black Mesa Golf Course, as its fairways tumble and turn through this unique environment. But it's more than just a beautiful course. It's a great layout that offers challenge and fun at every tee. As you've probably noticed, there's an absence of humanity here. There are no houses. There are no cars. It's pure golf here in the land of enchantment. Hi, I'm Eddie back at the Black Mesa Golf Club. Back in 2003, we were recognized by Golf Digest as the best new affordable golf course in the country. And we've been very excited about that, and the accolades have just piled on since. We are ranked in the top 50 on both Golf Digest, Golf Magazine, and Golf Week. We're just as proud as we can be that we sit here in northern New Mexico and we're, we're ranked in the top 100 in the country. And we think it's an experience that anybody who comes here will, will not forget. If you play this golf course, you'll leave here a better player. You'll walk away thinking more about the strategy of the game, how to play shots, you know, how to be rewarded, how to be disciplined if you can't pull off the shot that you're trying to pull. It's, it's fun. I guarantee that it'll be a place you won't forget. 
Some of our, our future plans uh, include building a, a second golf course. We've hired Tom Doak, who is a highly recognized guy and done some pretty high profile stuff. And we're lucky enough to have him on board as the architect for our second golf course. The routing's been completed. We really, really look forward to the day when that course opens. Well, we'll be looking forward to that too. But until then, we'll be playing on one of the top courses in the country. And we'll be enjoying incredible sunsets, a superbly maintained championship course, and a welcoming staff that makes you feel right at home. Black Mesa, a course you have to put on your must playlist in New Mexico. An historic monument and a national landmark is the Santa Clara Indian Pueblo of the Puñe Cliff Dwellings dating back to the late 1100s through 1580. Close to the Black Mesa Golf Course is the Visitor Center, where you can view the Pueblo ruins firsthand, learning how the ancient ancestors lived in this stretch of cave rooms dug into a mile-long mesa wall. What's interesting is that when visitors come, our whole goal is to provide a bridge that bridges the gap of ancestral Pueblo, our ancestors, really, to who we are as present-day Pueblo and Native Americans. And what we explain culturally is the interpretation of what we've been brought up with. Our whole goal is to really be able to be educators, not so much tour guides. For the um, holes that go across the top, those are actually what are known as Viga holes, and those were considered the roof supports for their second and third story. Okay. You will notice the caves are actually located behind those two-story structures, and this was simply because the caves that you're looking at were their storage spaces, and so they had to be in the back, so they built three to five feet out, two and three stories up, just depending on the size of their family. You actually heat up this stone uh, with the coal fire using cedar wood, you have your blue cornmeal paste. You kind of do this real quick, making a bread, what is known as peaky bread or paper bread. More so made now in this day by the Hopi Tewas. Thin as paper, kind of rolls itself into a burrito. These stones cook two seconds, quick, quick, quick. Wow. Um, it is a really amazing tradition. I've actually been asked to go and make this bread out in the Hopi area with a couple of my friends. Hard to do, very hard to do, very labor intensive, but amazing food at the end. The Punye cliff dwellings were excavated in 1907. Today it is a treasure looking back to the life and times of early inhabitants of this very special land. There's much more on golfing country. We'll be right back. It's quiet, it's undisturbed, and it's very natural. It's a Robert Trent Jones Jr. golf course on the Cochiti Pueblo, where the locals say that every hole is a signature hole. Pueblo de Cochiti Golf Course has been racking up awards since the late 70s. The locals would like to keep it a secret here, but its fame is going worldwide. One of the finest amenities here is the absence of humanity on a challenging course. It's just you, your game, and the wonderful nature that surrounds you. Good morning, welcome to Pueblo de Cochiti Golf Course. My name is Jude Sweet, I'm the director of golf here. The best drive you'll ever have is the one that gets you here. Pueblo de Cochiti Golf Course, heaven with a zip code. We are a four-star facility according to Golf Digest. We actually received a reward recognizing the architectural design of the golf course. Our designer is actually Robert Trent Jones Jr., who's a real famous designer in the golf business. It's a half an hour from Santa Fe, about an hour from Albuquerque. We do offer uh, rental clubs for, uh, you know, for our out-of-state guests. Uh, we also, our facilities also have a full service restaurant, full service bar. We offer uh, our practice facilities. We have a chipping green, we have a driving range. We actually have a practice area where we can actually do clinics. Right now we do most of our clinics with children, but if out of state guests want to come in, we're, we, we're able to offer them uh, some lessons, group lessons. The drum logo that's here gives you a better understanding of Pueblo de Cochiti. We had a contest to design our logo, so one person just turned in a, you know, our logo, which the tribe uses right now, um, as our logo for the golf course, and so it was pretty much a no-brainer that that would be our new logo. 
actually symbolizes more of the Pueblo and, and its culture. So the drum makers there are world renowned for, for the drum. The drum logo is carried throughout the pro shop and it's the perfect place to pick up a souvenir or some logoed sportswear. And then we saw the real thing. This actual drum was made by my father, Tony Smita, who was one of the drum makers from the Pueblo. Uh, he's now gone. I lost him in 2002. He actually brought this put up for sale here at the golf course, but when he passed away, uh, I pulled the drum off the shelves and decided to keep it for myself. It's been here ever since, and when I decide to leave here, it'll go with me. And probably be given to one of my grandchildren. When you come to Pueblo to Cocha de Golf Course, you'll be well received. The course will be in excellent shape. Leo and Davey will make sure of that. So bring your clubs and your game and you'll discover why it's a bit like heaven with a zip code. Leo and Davey do a great job out on the course, but Davey has another job. He's a master drum builder. And we catch up with him right at home. In our language, it's called the gushtsko. Yeah. So, I mean, boy, the bread's delicious. Hey, Miss Mountains here. Mm -hmm. At 9,000 feet in elevation is where we get these aspen logs. And we get dead and down aspen because we want them so that they're kind of rotten in the middle and they're easier to hollow out and, uh, and a lot easier to ch chisel and sand and work and shape them into a drum. We have to hunt for these logs, and you never know what you're gonna find. You might find some small ones like this. You get lucky, you find some big ones. So uh, Mother Nature decides how big the drum's gonna be. But uh, typically a ceremonial drum is probably around 16 inches in diameter and 22 inches uh, tall. <laughs> At Pueblo de Cochardí, the proud art of drum making is handed down generation to generation. And he'll make sure that proud tradition goes on and on. All my drums are signed on the inside. So you look to that hole right there? The next time I come up, Davey's going to show me how to catch fish like this. Tent Rocks National Monument is right down the road. It's a great place to pack a lunch and see the wonders of nature. Well, these tent rocks took 100,000 years to form, and they go back to a volcano 6.8 million years ago. And it speaks for itself. Anyone who loves nature will surely love the peaceful solitude of Tent Rocks National Monument. We'll be right back with more golf from the Land of Enchantment. Right near Santa Fe is Buffalo Thunder. They've got a Hilton there and a 27-hole golf complex. Just a few miles north of Santa Fe is Buffalo Thunder Resort. And if you're a golfer, it's the perfect place to stay and play. You'll be treated to some of the finest views in New Mexico and three nine-hole courses that are challenging and well-maintained. They have a Hilton here, unlike any other Hilton in the world. Whether you come here for convention, business, or pleasure, you'll be soaking up the sun and soaking up history. Let's learn more. Hi, my name is Linda Howell. I am the director of golf at the Toa Golf Club at the Santa Fe Hilton Buffalo Thunder Resort and Casino. I want to welcome you here. We have a championship golf course with three nines available. They were designed by Hale Irwin and William Phillips. We're excited to announce that we're going to be reopening Boulder, which hosts the only island green in New Mexico. Truly a spectacular course. Not only the design, but also the spectacular views of the Sangre de Cristos, the Hemes Mountains, overlooking Los Alamos, and only about 10 minutes drive from wonderful Santa Fe, New Mexico. We also host the only casino available at a Hilton Golf Resort. 
What a wonderful way to have a, a full playground here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. We welcome you to come out, play the three nines, enjoy the views, enjoy the fabulous design, as well as the culture available not only in Santa Fe, New Mexico, but our fabulous resort. We have over 390 rooms, and the most incredible part of this resort is stepping into the lobby and looking at about $23 million of artwork, looking at the history and the culture of Santa Fe just enveloped in one facility. We also have a pool, we have a fabulous spa, the Woping Spa that is world renowned for its services. Welcome to the Woping Spa at Buffalo Thunder, the finest spa in New Mexico. My name's Carrie Ferrante, I'm the spa manager here. We have a lovely menu of ritualistic, unique treatments here at our spa and we'd love to have you come and join us the next time you visit the Helping. So not only a place you can come and enjoy championship golf, but truly just relax and enjoy the full culture of Santa Fe. Golfing is more than just a game. It's a lifestyle. And here's some property ideas for you. The perfect day of golf in Las Cruces starts at the Sonoma Ranch Golf Course. You drop your clubs off and head into the well-appointed pro shop, where you'll find everything to help you look your best and play your best. And rental clubs if you need them. Warm up on their all-grass driving range and do a little putting, which replicates the conditions you'll find out on the course. And the last thing I do before I go out and play, I get a cup of coffee, stand on the balcony, and overlook this welcoming challenge. Here at Sonoma Ranch Golf Course, you'll find fairways that are green all year. And you'll find a wonderful mixture of Lynx Golf and Desert Golf. The greens are receptive, they have a lot of movement, but they roll through. And you'll have options, whether to fly it in or bump and run. Let's learn more about this fabulous course. Hello, my name is Zach Wilson, General Manager of Sonoma Ranch Golf Course, and I'd like to invite you out to play Sonoma Ranch. Built in 2000 by Cal Olson, it has five tee boxes for any level of golfer. Sonoma Ranch Golf Course is a golfing community located in Sonoma Ranch in Las Cruces, New Mexico. From the back tee, 7,000 yards, but with five different tee boxes, gives the opportunity for anybody to play. It is a desert style golf course, pretty wide open. Crosses the arroyo on the back side quite a few times, so it's an exciting play for everybody. Situated at the base of the Oregon Mountains, Sonoma Ranch Golf Course is the only golf course in New Mexico that stays green year round. With the hybrid ryegrass, we offer one of the most breathtaking views of Las Cruces, the Oregon Mountains. Sonoma Ranch Golf Course is open to the public seven days a week, 364 days of the year. It's a value to any golfer, offering rates early in the morning for nine holes or late in the afternoon for a super twilight. Winding through the Mesilla Valley River Basin, You'll see a little wide open desert golf course mixed in with a little Lynx style golf course. You'll use every club in your bag. Sonoma Ranch Golf Course is the number one rated golf course in southern New Mexico. Please come down and join us. There's much more on golfing country. We'll be right back. The Encanto de las Cruces Hotel can be your palatial hacienda when you're in Las Cruces. Here is a welcoming 203 room, full service luxury hotel that reflects a warm Spanish colonial decor. It's not your bland typical contemporary design. For instance, in the bedrooms, the headboards for the beds have hand-painted gold decoration accents in the true spirit of authenticity and the signature of old Mexican pieces. The desks are an adaptation of original desks that were in the Palace of the Governors in Santa Fe. The entire hotel showcases authentic old Mexican signature decor and stylized pieces of furniture, fabric, art, and statues. Luxury knows no end at Encanto. Just take a look at this separate private room with a huge Romanesque spa jacuzzi. If you're looking for a beautiful pool and jacuzzi, or a poolside room with a private patio, you'll have it here at Encanto. Cafe España Dining Room recreates a traditional Hacienda-style cochina, which is the kitchen 
you feel right at home with an authentic regional cuisine. And for nightlife, Azul Lounge and Nightclub offers a step into a sophisticated cosmopolitan high style type club which can be found in Spain or Mexico. Enjoy a soothing cigar on the outside patio. Location is always key no matter what city you're visiting. And Canto is very near our featured Sonoma Ranch Golf Course. Here's an invitation from Hotel Encanto that we hope you'll be able to accept. Hi, my name is Susan Ray, Director of Sales and Marketing here at Hotel Encanto in lovely Las Cruces, New Mexico. Remember when visiting Las Cruces, please come and stay with us here at Hotel Encanto, where you'll be greeted warmly and be treated to well-appointed guest rooms and excellent customer service. For any outdoor enthusiast, the Inn of the Mountain Gods is a great place to go all year round. From fishing, hunting, skiing, to great golf, you'll see it all right here at the Inn of the Mountain Gods. There are very few places that can capture the essence of their being in just their name. This is one of those places, Inn of the Mountain Gods. My name is Michelle Palmer. I'm the head professional here at Inn of the Mountain Gods. We're located on the Mescalero Apache Reservation, which is southern New Mexico. Our course opened up in 1975. Ted Robinson is the designer. We have a man-made lake. That's probably the only thing they added on. Besides that, everything is all natural here. The altitude here on our course is 7,200 feet. The ball is going to fly a little longer. You kind of got to adjust maybe about half a club. The course out here has a lot of trees in play. Some tight shots on some holes. A few holes with water. The weather's great out here. Majority of the time, we're probably about 75, 80 degrees. Our season lasts May through November, closed from November to April because we get a lot of snow out here. We have a nice ski resort up on our mountain and that takes up majority of our winter time. The reason why we call it a championship course is we just recently added on some championship tees and it's rated one of the, the best courses in New Mexico. We're getting ready to start some professional tournaments to come out here and play from our championship tees and see what they have. The course here at Mescalero is filled with trees, a lot of water, a lot of wildlife. We get a lot of people coming out just taking pictures, enjoying the scenery and just being in the outdoors, a lot of nature. We have a lot of weddings that take place on this course, a lot of engagements happen here. They just feel comfortable when they're in this kind of setting. We have a big resort, resort and casino, it has about 280 rooms, convention center, four restaurants, and a big lake for boating and fishing. It's one of the biggest lakes in New Mexico as far as our resort's concerned. We have trout fishing, we have rainbows and browns, we have rental boats, canoes, kayaks. We have a lot of people coming out here in the summer times enjoying all the fishing. We have fishing contests with big prizes through the casino. My name is Michelle Palmer. I am the head professional here at Inn of the Mountain Gods Championship Golf Course. Once you come and visit our resort and casino, I know you will have a great time out here and visiting our golf course as well as our resort and casino and experiencing the nature in our area. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching Golfing Country. I hope you enjoyed the show just as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. All the best to you and yours, and we'll see you next week. What are you gonna do for some fun today? I hope you get a chance to play. What are you gonna do to bless We'd like to thank the talented New Mexico what artist Andrew Thomas. His music is a good listen before you get here and while you're here. Don't miss Golfing Country's next edition.